Hello everyone and welcome to the next in our series of daily origami for YouTube. Today we're going to continue with our theme of looking at some traditional origami and we're going to make a classic action origami which is a crow. Uh, we have a ton of crows here and they are so huge. They're bigger than my dog practically so you have to be kind of careful. Um, they're massive and they love to eat all of our corn. So, <laughs> But this particular origami is a lot of fun to make and it creates a cute little kind of moving mouth when you pull on the wings. So. Uh, that can be kind of a fun thing to do with kids. Uh, we're going to be using just standard paper that's 15 by 15 centimeters. You can use any size paper. This works really good with printer paper. It's not that many folds. Um, so you can really make kind of a fun, cool little project here as long as you start off with a square piece of paper. I'm going to start off with uh, the um, fish base. So to do that, I'm just going to start here with my paper, uh, color side facing down, and just fold my paper in half diagonally both ways, just so that I know where my center is. Then I'm going to take the outer right let side here and roll it into the center. You can kind of pinch down at the bottom, line up the center, and then smooth everything down here. Do the same thing on this side too. Once you've got both of those sides folded into the center to create kind of a nice big diamond shape there, I'm going to sort of flip things over for a second and go ahead and fold in half from bottom to top here. And we already have the crease there, there so it should go pretty smooth. Just fold straight up. Take this little pocket area here and open it up. We've got the diagonal crease already, so when you push down, you should be able to get this part folded over pretty easily. But then we also want to make sure that we bring all of this up to a nice little point here as much as you can. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side too. Just kind of fold it over and bring it up. So you have these two little flaps now at the top. I'm just going to take the back side out so that I've got everything laying flat and then you can just choose which way to kind of let this lay flat. I'm going to actually then fold it straight up and we're going to take everything here and fold it in half. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take those little parts that you see here and I'm going to pull them out enough so that when I do I can create a nice straight angle. And there's a crease on one of these sides. Find where that is. It's not on the back here. It's on the front in my case. But find that. That's going to line up with this edge when you do this. So you're going to pull it out far enough so that you can line that up and smooth it out so you get this nice part sticking out here. I'm going to just do the same thing with this part here too. This was inside. I'm just pulling it out enough so that I can find that crease and line up the edge with that crease. Should give you a nice little sort of smooth angle there. Then, after everything's been folded over, I'm going to take this top part and fold straight down. Now, you want to make sure you don't fold down too far because you're going to put a little strain right there in the middle. Just fold it straight down. And then we're going to do kind of a, a rabbit ear, uh, ear fold here. And to do that, what you do is you take the outer edge and just fold over, but we don't want to crease the whole thing. I just want to come up to this crease that you see here in the middle. And fold it over and do the same thing on this side too. And then when you bring both of those in at the same time, you should be able to create three points, the two sides and the middle here, coming together to create the either bottom or top part. In this case, this is the top part of our crows. Uh, beak. I'm just going to repeat those steps on this side too, just folding towards the center. And when you bring both those together, you should be able to create a nice little beak in the middle. Then I'm going to fold everything in half on that crease that's in the middle, and you will need to kind of reverse it as you go. But if you fold it all the way in half, you should wind up with something that looks like this. That's the finished little f guy. Now when you take both of these wings and you pull on them, kind of open it up and back and forth like that, it, his mouth opens. So 
uh, if I can kind of film it right, it goes like that. As you open and close, his mouth opens and closes too. And that's our finished little crow. And he does stand up. He looks kind of cool there. And you can put little stuff, hide little things in there if you want to. But uh, the dimensions for him are about, from beak to tail feather, 12 and a half centimeters. And about six centimeters tall. And that should give you the finished little crow, talking crow, which is our finished project for today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.